Welcome to Office Hours by Triple X Church. I'm your host, Carl Thomas. I'm a pastor, certified neuro health coach, and a guy who frankly struggled with a lot of the stuff we talk about here for over 20 years, until I found freedom over a decade ago. In today's episode, we are going to be jumping in and answering this question. Is Craig Gross still connected to Triple X Church, and do you support his new efforts? That's what I will be discussing today, so make sure you hang in there with me. Recognize that no questions are off the table, and I'm going to be as honest with my answers as I possibly can be, so don't get offended. Without any further delay, let's jump in. Okay, so this question came into our office hours page, and we say, hey, we answer anything that comes in, so I'm going to answer it. Uh, This gentleman wrote, I've supported your ministry in the past and have given out many of those Jesus Loves Porn Stars Bibles. I want to know if you guys are still connected with Craig Gross or supporting his new ministry. I am not behind the movement to normalize and support marijuana use. I have always loved his heart for the lost, but this is different. Would you please let me know what the scoop is? All right. Um, we get, we've gotten this question many times over the past 12 months. Uh, in fact, in June, we're going to be celebrating 20 years of X Church, so we'll probably be diving into some of this. But And we've sent out emails kind of covering this. But, you know, not everyone gets our emails. Not everyone reads our emails. So let me just kind of cover this uh, topic as briefly as I can and just give you the bullet points. So Craig Rose, for for those of you who know or even those of you who don't know, uh, he is or was, whatever you want to call it, the founder of Fireproof Ministries, which birthed Triple X Church and uh, X3 Watch and a bunch of other, uh, you know, projects. But Triple X Church was obviously their biggest and most well-known project, and Craig was behind that. Uh, he ran Triple X Church and or Fireproof Ministries for 20 years, oh, nearly 20 years, and uh, I, I worked for them for a long time. Left back in ni- 2019, right around the time where Craig kind of shifted his attention, uh, wasn't really feeling the whole porn recovery ministry thing anymore, and wanted to go down this road of legalizing marijuana, um, talking about the spiritual aspects of drug use, not just marijuana, but also psychedelics, all sorts of things. Anyway, uh, in 2019, he just felt like, hey, I got I to gotta move aside, kind of get out of this. He was looking for somebody to kind of run Triple X Church, at least from the day to day. I was going to step into that role, but over the next couple of months of us talking about it, it became crystal clear that that just wasn't going to work. Admittedly, partly because of his new direction, and I just knew that we weren't on the same page with that stuff on a you know, on a personal level. And, uh, you know, I, I started Live Free Ministries, and we launched an app, and we did all these other things. Last year, I noticed that Triple X Church hadn't really been doing much anymore since he kind of stepped away. Uh, it was just kind of sitting there. And I know the value of the work we had done. Uh, again, I had been with that ministry for over seven years, very involved in a lot of the projects we did. And I just said, man, this, this thing can't just go away. It just can't sit here. Triple X Church is an important brand, and it can really help a lot of people. So we made the offer to uh, acquire Triple X Church from Fireproof Ministries, i.e. Craig Gross, and uh, they agreed. So we acquired Triple X Church. Uh, Fireproof is, they, they still uh, technically, well, not technically, they're, they're still the organization that runs and owns X3 Watch. And then, yes, they've gotten into all sorts of other side projects, most of which involve recreational, medicinal, drug use, whatever you want to call it. Um, so to answer your question, that's, that's the brief history lesson. To answer your question, is Craig connected to this ministry in any way, shape, or form? No, he's not involved in leadership. He's not on our board. He's, he's not involved in any way um, at all. The only relationship we have at, from a front-facing perspective is the fact that we still recommend X3 Watch as a potential accountability app if you want to look at them. There's a lot of them out there. X3 Watch is the one that we point people to uh, because that is still a product of Fireproof Ministries, but that's the only remote connection, if you will, and, uh, but that's about it. He's, he's not involved. As far as do we support what he's doing or not as an organization, I would tell you that that is, it's a non-issue. Okay. Because Triple X Church's focus and live free ministries, you know, bigger, the bigger thing focus is helping people with their unwanted sexual behavior and, uh, 
helping them get past the shame in their life from these things, or honestly, to get past the shame in their life that leads them to these things. That is our focus, 100%. So do we support what he's doing or not doing? As an organization, it's, it's, a, non, it's a non-question because it doesn't matter. It has nothing to do with what we're doing now. Uh, whatever Fireproof is doing, whatever Craig is doing, that is their concern, that is his concern. It's not our concern, okay? We are 100% focused on helping people get free from porn and unwanted sexual behavior and the shame that holds them back. So I hope that answers your question. And uh, if it doesn't, feel free to submit another question. Just go to triplexchurch.com forward slash office dash hours, and I will answer uh, whatever you got for me in an upcoming segment. So that's it. Have a great weekend, and uh, I'll catch you next week.